today. Today we're going to check out the Trifo Lucy AI Home Robot Vacuum and Mop. So this one has a camera built up front which one helps it navigate, it helps it avoid obstacles and you can actually use it as a home surveillance camera. So from your app, say you're at work, you can actually go into your app and drive this anywhere you want in your house. If you have, say, like an alarm and a sensor went off or something, you could drive this over there. Or if you want to check on your pets, you can find your pets with this. This even has uh, motion detection. So if it's sitting there charging and something moves in front of it, then it will alert you and you can click on your app and see exactly what is going on in your house live. So pretty cool feature. Kind of a weird one for a robot vacuum, but if it has a camera, you might as well be able to use it, right? So this is a pretty pricey robot vacuum overall. Right now it's $500 after a coupon code on Amazon. It has some pretty good features. It's got 3000 PA suction, which is pretty dang high. Uh, I believe this model only has a 2500 mAh battery. So it's decent for, you know, medium sized houses, but if you have a larger floor plan, it'll probably have to go back and charge itself. But uh, I'll give you more information about it when I do all my tests. This is mainly going to be an unboxing to show you exactly what you get and then just a little bit of information as we go along. So as you can see a nice packaging. I kind of like how the robot's kind of barely showing in the background. Kind of a nice sleek feature. It does work with Alexa. The model is LUC-S. There's some information on it. Detects objects up to one inch small. Uh, vacuum and mop, the home security, as you can see, uh, you can check on your pets, which is pretty cool. I mean, there's not really anything out there that's not super crazy expensive as far as a robot that you can send out and actually look around your house and see what's going on. I will definitely put that through the test and see if the camera is good. It is a 1080p. HDR camera so the quality should be really good. Of course you can map your house, divide the rooms, add no-go zones and all that great stuff as well. Designed for indoor floor cleaning and anytime surveillance and once again it is a mop as well. So let's go ahead and get into this see exactly what you get. Once again this is like $630 and there's a coupon that brings it down to $500 so once again, pretty pricey. It is designed with love in California. So that's pretty cool. And uh, let's check it out. Hopefully this is a good robot vacuum. The reviews on it so far that I've seen have been pretty good. Um, great presentation. Lucy. Sorry, it's sideways. I don't have a lot of room on this table. You can see very nice presentation for the owner's manual. And then quick start guide and all that. I'll show you how to set up the app and all that in future videos. So very nice. Nice thick cardboard to protect it. Here's the robot vacuum itself. It's got some gold on the top. And it is quite heavy, especially for not having a very large battery. Usually heavy means, one, it's got great motor for the suction, and then two, it's got really good build quality. We'll check that out in just a moment. Here is the mopping reservoir. This one appears to be a driplet system. So these three sections here will continuously drip onto your mopping pad, saturating it. And that is overall what's going to clean. Does not look like it's force fed, unfortunately. Force fed and kind of more consistently pushes water out which in my eyes does a little bit better job, but this will do the trick for light mopping. And then here is the mopping pads. Get to that in a later video as well. A ton of cardboard, but it really secures the robot in here very well. Have a white power cord for the dock, and we'll get to that in just a second. Here's the dock itself. Kind of fancy. If you like gold, then you'll like the design of this. That's the first one I've ever seen with gold contacts. And then a nice trifo 
emblem on the top with the gold ring going across as well. So definitely a good looking unit. There's a cord wrap in there and you can even cover the cord wrap which is something I don't think I've ever seen for this one as well. So pretty interesting. Definitely feels like a good build quality. Even this feels kind of heavier than most chargers. All right, let's go ahead and check out the robot itself. What do you guys think? I'm personally not a big fan of gold, but this is kind of subtle to where there's not a lot of it. The black looks really good. And overall, I kind of, I'm kind of digging the, the look of it. From the pictures online, I didn't think I would like all the gold, but it kind of works with this. Remove this bumper protection. And you're going to lift this up to get to the dirt bin. And the dirt bin itself is 600 milliliters, so pretty good size. So this one doesn't have a mesh filter here like I like to see. However, instead of a mesh, there is kind of a black pre-filter that's going to kind of act like a mesh. Usually the ones with the mesh go straight to the white filter. This one at least has the black one, which is going to be similar to the mesh. And it's appreciated to see that it has that at least. But a good size bin, good size filter. USB charging port, that's interesting. Not sure exactly why that's there. Maybe I'll try to look that up and find out for you guys. And it does have your on and off there, and then send it home right there, and then the middle button doesn't do anything. Let's go ahead and check out the underneath. Actually, first let's check out the camera. Should be able to see it in there. Pretty cool. Here is the bottom. This does have a motion tracker system on the bottom, so this will follow the lines as well as map your house and you can section off the rooms and all that. It has a pretty basic uh, roller bar system, bristles along with silicone. And this is unique to this robot. I don't think I've never seen a six-way uh, side brush. Three long and three short. That's very interesting. I'll have to put this to the test against some of the other robots and see if the six-way is better than the three, five, or even the one I just reviewed, the Shark AI, which only has one of these, which I don't personally like. So I think the more the better, especially with the shorter ones. So if these big ones happen to miss something, these shorter ones are gonna flick it for you. So pretty cool. All right guys, I'm gonna get this guy charged up. I'll connect it to the app, and I will show you the app in a separate video, and then I'll do a quick cleaning run, give you my first impressions on this guy, and then we'll do a more detailed clean then we'll do object avoidance, we'll check out the surveillance system on this. And so far it looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if there's anything specific you'd like to see about this. If you wouldn't mind, do me a quick favor, smash that like button for me. It only takes a second and it really helps my videos out a lot. Uh, if you like this type of content or robot vacuums in general, please hit that subscribe button. I have over 40 robot vacuums now and I try to put out daily videos if not every other day at the least. So trying to pump out a lot of content for you guys. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day and Lucy, we'll see you later.